Well, hello ladies and gentlemen. Happy 4th of July. I am Tank and this is an episode of officially the new segment Tank Grills. So, if you can tell I'm still in my house right now, but I just got to show you the process. I'll be making ribs for y'all. I'll have to show you the process of what I got to do to make these ribs the way I like them and my whole family likes them. So, Let's get into the process. Okay, first we got some tin foil and now we need some olive oil. So we spray the olive oil. Oh, that would have been bad. Spray the olive oil on the tin foil. Get a decent coat on there so we don't want the ribs to stick. That's good. That should be a decent amount. Okay, now we gotta deal with the meat. <laughs> so, now we're just gonna move the camera over to this end as I remove the, ah, remove the packaging. I'm gonna take the garbage out right away, so quick fix. Got a pair of scissors here that I'm just gonna just get a snip here. Here. Ah. Now we get the pork out of the out of the packaging here. Just there we go. Look at that. See, this is what you need to get instead of that pre-made barbecue covered stuff. Don't worry, we'll put barbecue on this thing, but it's gonna have to cook a little while. Okay, now we're going to go take the pork, I mean the ribs, and just grab it and set them on the tin foil. Okay. All right, guys. Now we're back over here to the to the actual ribs on the tin foil. Good. Under that. Okay. Now we're gonna add the seasonings. But first, we use this good old ooh, good old rub down on here. More well, like we're gonna give it a nice massage. We just spread it all on, all over, just like. Give it a okay, good. Now, like, push it on and put it all in. Just like push it down like that. Like, give it a nice, good, like massage. Get a good old massage, less like that. Okay, good. Now, I'll wash my hands again. There's a lot of washing hands in this portion. Now, we're gonna add garlic. Some mixed salt. All on this side. Good. Now we gotta just like massage it back in. Yep, that's what we're doing, just massaging the thing back in. Okay. Good. That should be good enough. Now we're gonna flip her over. Same process on that end. Okay. Like 
Now um, the rub, garlic, and salt, pepper. Now we just rub them in. Give it a good old massage again. <laughs> Good, just like that. Okay, time to wash my hands again. <laughs> and then we're gonna flip it back on its uh, back on this top way again right here. Good. Let's break that up a little bit there. And now we're going to uh, wrap it up on the tin foil. So. Like that, like this. Like that. We're gonna go on this side. Just like that. <sighs> now, we're going to have it sit for a little bit. And for now, we're, we'll get back to you a little bit. Alright folks, right now I'm in my garage right now. I just took the grill out and I turned on the propane and sparked it. So. Now I'm going to show you what level of like heatness that the ribs should be cooked on. So let's go out there and sh show you what level on my grill that I cook the ribs. So let's go. <laughs> okay. Oops. We set it. Sorry. Set it to this setting. Yeah, put it right. Yeah, to this setting, and now that's a low setting, by the way. So we're just gonna set the ribs on here, just like that. And, uh, just let her cook up, you know. Just let it do its thing and. And uh, that's uh, Tank's, uh, how I, I make my ribs, and I'll show you what they look like when they're finished around that time. So, we're going to let these bad boys cook up, and maybe I can make something else for y'all. So, for now, let's close this up. See you in a, f like, at least a good seven minutes later, so. Check you later for now. Peace. Alright guys, we're gonna actually open this up and actually, ooh, a little carriage. Oh boy, there we go. Uh, not quite there yet, but a few more minutes at least. Should be able to get her up. So. We're going to tell them we're going to head back inside for a bit. Okay. Oh yeah, it's ready for it's ready for the sauce now. That's ready for the sauce. So we're going to run into the house and grab this barbecue sauce. So you're out in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Uh. All right, we're back in the house, and I should have did this on camera, but I uh, just squirted some barbecue sauce into the deal, 
Now we got the brush, and we're just gonna brush the barbecue sauce onto the ribs. Then, okay, we're gonna do that quick. Back at barbecue sauce, barbecue sauce, barbecue sauce, barbecue sauce. <laughs> Shoot! Easy. Okay, so, oh, barbecue sauce, boss. Okay. Okay, now we're just gonna smell. Just like, just paint it on there. Just paint it on there. Just get it. Yep, just paint the. Get the barbecue sauce all on there. Just, yeah. Today for a free roof inspection and to find out more about our special ribs. Visit us and just get on the fast track to exciting new career at MediaCom's brand new tech support call center. It's $1,000. No, 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 just keep painting the sauce on there. And as that's doing that, we're going to fold her back up. Yeah, that should be good enough. We're just gonna... Okay, now yep. uh, with the sauce on. We're gonna close up the thing again. We're just gonna be, be done after it's a little more glazed up. So, for then, till then, let's do this. Still at that temperature, just. So for now, let's just close you up and. <sighs> well, folks, the ribs are finally done. It took a good three hours to get them done, but the, during the process, the smell was just almost orgasmic. <sighs> so. You saw me barbecue them. You saw me do all that good old stuff. Let's uh, take a look at them while they're done. So just come on, come over here, come over here. Oh yeah, but okay, we're gonna have to again. Sorry. See that nice tin foil wrapped? We're gonna open up that tin foil right there. Right there, right there. To open that baby up, just like, whoops. Straighten that out. Oh, guys. Oh, that's what you get. Patience in time that's how you make good style barbecue ribs right there now we're gonna let that set let it cool down just a wee bit then the cutting process starts Guys, if you could smell the awesomeness that's just coming off of this piece of meat. Yes, I am a carnivore. Deal with it. Ew, this is hell. <laughs> it's damn near close to heaven. So, guys, now. We're going to actually... Move the camera again. <laughs> Tripod slippage. Ha. Okay. Back it up. Weave it. Come on. Spread up. Spread them legs. Ooh, that sounded dirty. There's no dirtiness on my channel.
Let's start cutting the bad boy. Give it a little twirl around here. Hmm. Fork dub, Ryan. Well, that's embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Tacky. Okay, we got one off. Now, now we got two. Come on now, release. This is better than the store-bought stuff that you usually can get, like at Menards. And I'm not dogging Menards or anything. No, no, I'm not. But it's pre-made stuff. I don't care for guys. It's if you can just make it yourself. Jeepers, creepers. Ah, here we go. Got them all cut up. Time to put at least one rack on the rib, on a plate. Not a rack, but <laughs> one piece on a plate, and then we can mow down. This is one of my longer videos, my friends. I'm sorry. But. Uh, okay. Damn, guys, that is delicious. This stuff is so good. Now, <laughs> Thank you for watching, everyone, to from to the 
lakes of Minnesota to the hills of Tennessee. Thank you very much for watching Tank's World. This was officially Tank Grills. It was a little more difficult than I expected, but I think we did a good job. So, till next time, my friends, will be more Tank Grills episodes. So, signing off. Peace!